Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from UnleashThePhones.com and here's a quick hands-on with the Nokia Asha 205. The Nokia Asha 205 has a full QWERTY keyboard and you also have this neat little Facebook button right there to get quick access to everyone's favorite social network. You also have this nice little keyboard right here which um, is also very nice to hold and type with one hand for example and you can see that you have a nice LED backlight as well which seems to work pretty well. There's no front-facing camera though but at the back you have a nice a uh, VGA camera and this very very nice design that kind of looks to me like a Lamborghini uh, but um, it has this nice little, I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera but it has these lines that go towards the back and a pretty loud loudspeaker as well um, it also has support for two SIM cards you can get either a single SIM card version or a dual SIM version this is the dual SIM version of course and uh, you have a, a 2.4 inch screen at the front at QVGA resolution and um, about the same Nokia Asha UI on S40 uh, that we've seen before. Also worth mentioning is that you have a very cool little feature called Nokia Slam where you can um, basically just tap the Asha 205 against another um, Asha phone to share a picture just by just by touching it against each other. It's not quite NFC but it does work pretty well. I can just show you what the UI kind of looks like. Um, it's very easy and lets you share files pretty uh, easily as well right there via Nokia Slam. So that is also pretty cool. There's also an immense amount of standby time. You get this in both um, single SIM and dual SIM versions. The single SIM version is rated at 37 days of standby, which is quite a lot, and the dual SIM version is rated at 25 days of standby. Um, so yeah, that's about it, guys. This is a quick hands-on with the Nokia Asha 205. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below or on the blog at unleashthephones.com.